And I'll be pointed toward you, so it should be okay. Since you are much less familiar with games than I am, I will leave these over here by you so you can Great. look at them for reference. That's cool. All right. Cool. What's up, everybody? It's wait. Is that upside down? Probably. Yep. <laughs> that could be off. What did I do? I, oh, I moved something, didn't I? That's what I did. We're doing it live. Checking our audio level. Yep, our audio is good. Welcome, welcome. Probably want to do that. Turn off and. On. What did I press? What did I press? There we go. Crushing it. That's the one. <laughs> hey, Ricky, what's up? We are learning how to play X-Wing here. There we go. What's up, everybody? I'm upside down. It's me, John. Matt's here. He's going to teach us how to play X-Wing. I got a couple of Z95 headhunters. I know these. They're beautiful things. So he's going to take us through the basics. You can see on the left-hand side here the order of uh, phases. We've got the planning phase activation phase, and then combat phase right there. And so uh, he's going to take us through uh, first with dials. So when you're first setting up, you basically you know have your point values and whatnot with your, with your models, right? And you make sure to get your cards, and you make sure to track your cards with like a number so you know which one's which. Uh, don't want to get confused. All right, so what's this? So these are your maneuver dials. Uh, so it says, obviously, the name of the ship is on front. And then if you... Scroll around the dial, uh -huh. you'll see all the different maneuvers available to your ship. Now, white maneuvers are neutral, they don't do anything special. Okay. Green maneuvers will remove stress from your ship, red maneuvers will add stress to your ship. Uh, and if you notice the maneuver at three that has the little U on it, that is your K turn. Instead okay. of doing the maneuver normally, you will flip your ship 180 degrees when you do that. Gotcha. Now, okay. if you have a stress on your ship, you cannot do an action. So okay. that's the big problem. So if you do a stressful maneuver, you want to immediately try to do a green one so you can get back to doing your actions. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, it's that also very sense. noteworthy that you do not ever want to reveal a red maneuver while you are stressed because you will get another stress and you will do a straight three, straight two. It's very bad. Okay, so, so don't stress if I can help. Okay. Well, uh, you just, don't, just don't do red maneuvers while okay. you're stressed. That's fine. You can, do, you can do white maneuvers if you don't really need your action uh -huh. or green maneuvers clear it. Just don't do red maneuvers. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. So for so. the purposes of this, I'm going to do a... Huh. I'm gonna do a three forward for one. So I put him down like that next to it. Yeah. Now here's a an interesting thing they did with the game. So let's take some bases and let's put them together. Uh huh. And let's put some maneuver templates next to them. So you see the one template, the two template, and the three template. What do you notice? They're all base size. Gotcha. So okay. if you want to know how far a three moves, just try to imagine moving three base sizes forward. Oh, okay, cool. So okay. it's it's a very simple way to allow players to kind of intuitively measure it without actually having to measure it. Right. All right, so I've chosen my two actions. Got gotcha. you. Well, you've chosen your two maneuvers. So now we go, so we're all done with the planning phase. We all have our maneuvers set. So now we go from the lowest pilot skill, which you have two just basic bandits, whereas I have an elite red squadron. So <laughs> hey. I have, I have higher, higher pilot skill. Okay. So your guys will go first. Gotcha, so they'll move. So you, because they're both the same pilot skill, you can do them in either way. Okay, um, I will do number one. All right, four forward seems good. He's hitting the gas, so I put that right up to the base. I'm gonna hold that there so I don't move it before. Yep. I put him on the other side of it. Yep. Put him on the other side with his back touching. There we go. And there's a little notch in there to make it easier to, uh, to place. Now That's after great. You, after you execute your maneuver, you will see down here that shows you what action your ship has available. Z95 is a simple ship, as is the X-wing. We only have the focus and the target lock. Gotcha. Okay. So the focus action is you get one of these cool fo tokens, and then when attacking or defending, if you see an eyeball on your dice, or see any number of eyeballs actually, you can spend the token to switch all of them to either evades while defending or hits while attacking. Cool. So then, so, let me see the dice here. Yep. Yeah. So then evade is a little squiggly arrow with a dot, and then the hits are the eyeballs? Or no, the hits are... Those are the green dice. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Explosion, which is a classic FFG hit. And then the critical hit has the little like area marked out in the middle. Gotcha. And then there's the what's the eyeball do? The eyeball, like I said, if you have a focus symbol on you, you can spin it to flip those over. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Although, cool. They don't normally do anything, but if you have a focus, you can make them do it. Okay, gotcha. Neat. 
And the focus action is a just kind of a general all-purpose action. If you don't know what you're going to need, focus action is a good choice. Nice. The other action on your car is a target lock. In order to have a target lock, a ship has to be within range 1 to 3. So you'd say, well, I'm trying to target that guy. Well, not within range 1 to 3, so you can't target lock. So you might as well focus. Okay, cool. So I'm ready to and do things is, happen. That is his turn. Okay. Does his maneuver, does his action. So I do then my turn here. I'm yep. doing another four straight forward. You can't really see that with the focus of the camera on the board. Oh, no, you can't see it. You can't see it. Yeah, four straight forward. So grab my handy dandy forward. Can I do a five forward? I uh, don't believe they have that on their dial. Okay. So four straight forward, like that. So you do. And he also gets his action. Yes, so focus as, again. Yep, might as well focus because there's no any ships to target lock. There we go. So my X Wing is doing a three straight, which is white for the X Wing. So that's a pretty easy maneuver for it. Uh, so Scott, yeah, it's not going to be obsolete because the uh, principles are going to be the same. Yeah, Every, um, everything we are doing here will carry over. Yes. Um, actually, I don't think anything on the board will be different other than some, maybe some specifics of ship stats. Right. So, so this is this is actually quite relevant if you want to get in the game in second edition. Mm -hmm. This is still how the game will work. It's just I think the X-wing dial changed a little. Like okay. a few maneuvers are different, but gotcha. the basics of what we're doing is very is the same. That's awesome. That's good to know because so, I want to get into it. <laughs> so the X-Wing will attempt to target Lockheed, but he's out of range. Okay. So he will just take a focus. Gotcha. So we have no shots because you can only shoot out to range one to three. Nice. So now we're just going to remove our focus tokens at the end of turn. Okay. And that is the big advantage of a target lock. So if gotcha. you have a target lock on somebody, you can spend it to reroll any number of dice in your attack pool. Uh-huh. But if you don't spend it, it just stays on. So okay. for example, if I shoot you and I just roll everything I need, I just uh -huh. keep the target lock and it just stays on you until you use it. Interesting. Whereas focus so, goes away at the end of turn. Okay, so the target, like, you kind of keep it there. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So we choose our next so, action. Yeah, now we're going back to the planning phase. So, let's see here. I'm going to, let me make sure I can see my camera. And we'll keep on uh, answering questions as y'all ask them. Let's get this here. Uh, let's see. I think I know what I'm doing with both of these guys. Make sure I got the right <laughs> number. definitely got a lot better in my head than when it came out there. Go and... There we go. Okay. So I'm picking these two actions, as you can see there. And we'll see those in... That yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Pla place them down. And then I, since the, in this phase, I move, always move first since Every, I have the Everybody sets, set, so you guys, you get to choose which order they activate. All right. So we'll do number one, three forward. Seems good. Should have the three up right here. Yeah, there we go. So I'll place him on the other side. And now, I think I have a. You do have the option for a target lock because we're almost definitely at range one to three. And is it still during this activation, my movement yep. activation? So yep. I will. All right. So lock. you throw a target lock on. Just so be sure. Yep. He's moving. You get the blue and I get the red. That is a small change going to second edition because okay. they're removing the blues entirely. You just put a red on them and you denote which ship is yours. Cool. Okay. So, but for this edition, like you use a blue and a red. Okay. It's not a huge. Change. And then for this guy, I did a three turning, so I'll flip that over. <laughs> yep. So it's a three, three with a slight bank. A three bank. And is that called the bank? Was yeah, a that's specifically turn? referred to as a bank. bank. Whereas okay. the these ninety degrees are referred to as turns. Or, okay. So great. So he can also check for a target lock if he wants. Yes, I will. So you have the range, so you're gonna lock me up as well. Yep. Lock so away. You get the blue. I get the red. And then so you. The X-wing is doing a two straight. Interesting. Because he's surrounded, so he's not super confident. Uh, right. So as his action, he's not super loving his life choices. So he's going to focus instead because that can be used defensively as well. Okay. Right. right. So, so the you reroll. So the offensive dice are the reds, and the defensive are greens. Yep. And you roll a number of red dice equal to your red number, and a number of green dice equal to your green number. So cool. And I'll show you the card here. Uh, here is the red number, and for this one, it's two. Even though you can't see it great with the uh, webcam there. But that's a two. So I roll two red dice when I attack. Yep. Sweet. So the X-Wing hits a little harder, so he's going to get to roll three, right? So we're going to the okay. combat phase now. Okay. So the X-Wing is highest pilot skill, so he gets to shoot first. That's uh, fine. He'll shoot at the guy in front of him. No! Now, we're not at range one. If we were at range one, I would roll an extra red dice, but Ouch. we're not. So okay. we're at range two, so there's nothing special. So he rolls three dice. So I only got one hit. I can't do anything with these blanks because I don't have a target lock. Okay. So do I roll a defensive? We well, roll one for each of your green numbers. So you okay. roll two of them. Two of them. And you're looking for a dodge on either of them. So he dodges, dodge. Dodge is yes. complete. So hey. misses. So now it's all you for the rest of the phase. 
Okay, uh, one will shoot out of, he's okay. range two. Yep. Um, so, so two gets, reds. Yep. Come on, double explosions. So now Nothing. you have a target lock on me, so you okay. get to spend it to reroll both of them. Great, I like that. So we have one, one explosion. Hit. So let's see if he can dodge that. He cannot dodge that at all. So yes, because he still has shields, he will lose one of those damage off of his shields. Okay, okay, and the other guy is going to shoot. And the other guy, so we have to check range for him as well. I believe he's at two. He is out, out of, of range. Well, no, he's in range. Okay, because your range is at three. But if you are more than range two, then I get to roll an extra green. Up. Interesting. So I'll be okay. rolling three green to your two red. Sounds so good. Hopefully he'll dodge something. Double explosions, come on. Well, you have again, you have a target lock. Okay, so reroll. So get rid of that to reroll everything. One explosion. One critical hit. See if you can dodge that. Uh, he and he does dodge. No! So that's the end of that turn. Sweet. This X is fast paced. X Wing got the worst of that trade, so uh -huh. let's see what we can do with that. Okay. So now. Reset the dials again? Yep. All right. You know, and in a turn, focus goes away. Okay, so I got that one, and then this one. You know, I don't even know. We're gonna try this one. Okay, right, so. since we're so new to the game. My first guy is going to do a red bank to the left. Or a green bank to the left. Sorry, green bank to the left. Yep. So it's going to be... Because he's not stressed, right? So he doesn't yep. recover stress. He's yeah, not you, stressed. Don't do, you don't do anything special on green if you're not stressed. So then he'll you have some kind of like pilot ability. There. So he's still in there. Now he's definitely range one. So can he target lock again? Yeah, you totally target lock. Great. He'll do it again. So Thank you. Go. And, and then what is this guy? This guy is going to do a three U-turn and stress. Seems good. So now we check to see if he can. Okay. So can his base fit here? It can indeed. So oh my gosh! Yeah! Around. So he gets a stress, so he'd not be able to perform an action this turn. That's fine. But he does get in that position. So. Seems pretty cool. Now the X-Wing goes. He's going to do a 4K turn. And it's going to make you out of range of my uh, T-85. And I will also get a stress because with most ships, K turns are stressful. Right. So now we're going to go to top of the order. Okay. He's going to shoot at. They're both about the same. I guess I'll shoot at this guy. So we are at range two. We're not at range one. So it's just going to be my normal dice versus your normal dice. So three dice. X Wing gets absolutely nothing. Right. So now it is your time to start shooting. All right. So which two one do you want to shoot with first? Uh, can I shoot outside my firing arc? Because he is so, outside. He is outside of your fire, so you will not be able to shoot him with this. No! But you do have a target lock, and remember that stays. So you do get to keep that until you ever use it. That's cool. And then you have that. But you do have a shot with this guy at range two. Okay. You don't have any dice modifiers, so it's just whatever shows up on the dice. It's your, fine. Two, your two versus my two. Okay. Now, attack dice are generally better than defense dice, so this favors you. Gotcha. So two yep. reds. So we got one. One explosion. The X-Wing dodges nothing. He will take another shield. All right. We're doing good here, Headhunters. Keep it up. So nice. now we go back to the planning phase. Okay. So because we both have red maneuvers, we're both probably going to be looking to do green maneuvers. So keep that in mind. Okay. Gotcha. The green maneuvers for the X-Wing are the one straight, the two straight, and the one bounce. Okay. What happens if you, like, run into me? Uh, if I run into you, I will lose my action. I will skip my action step, and I will go to the last legal spot I can occupy. So, causing a bump can be useful for you if you are lining up a good shot. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so there's that one. And this one. There, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, All right, so my yeah. reveal, uh, first guy, one, is going to do a red bank to the left. Or a green bank to the left. It's like green bank to remove this. So he'll get rid of his stress. <laughs> so, what is his action going to be? Um, Since it's keep a target lock. Yeah, it's very unlikely that you're going to get a shot on me, but doing a target lock so you can use that later is always a good call. That'll be helpful. And what does that get you? And the number two is a four straight forward. Four straight forward. All right, so... He's going to drop in right here. And since you already have a target lock on the only ship you would ever want to shoot, probably focus. Yes. So now the X-Wing is going to do a one bank. 
He will clear his stress no matter what happens with this. So now we see if he can clear you. And he can clear you. He can! Whoa! Look so at that! Flies past that guy. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm gonna throw, since you're not shooting at me, I don't need the focus defensively, so I might as well throw a target lock on you. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So now the X-Wing is gonna drop in behind you, see if he can do some damage to this bandit. Don't! And he's gonna two. spend his target lock to reroll these two. Okay. So we got two hits so far. Dang it, dang it. Oh, no, just two hits. Okay, okay, I'm fine so with this. You get two green dice. Okay, dodge one dodge, so one shield goes one off. One shield goes off. On number three. Yep. Okay. And that is it for the turn, because both of those Z95s are facing the wrong way. So, next turn. Cool. Right. And the focus goes away. Right. Right. But both of your target locks stay on. Okay. So I... Go. That's number one. Oh no, number one. There. And number two. I'm going to pick. So strategically, I want to basically get to where I can shoot him again, right? Yeah. As quickly as possible. Like right now, you've got a good advantage on hit points. You want to try to press that as much as you can. Gotcha. And both of your ships have target locks, so K turns or doing the turnaround maneuvers hurt uh -huh. you less because you basically already have an action on. So I will try that, because why not? Right. A couple of K turns, I think. Yep. All right, go ahead. All right, so number three. There we go. So there, and then from the does that. So he will gain a stress, but he gets to keep his target lock. And then he does the same thing. Seems good. And the same thing. He will get a stress, but he stays locked on. Okay. So now the X-Wing is just doing a bank one. Oh boy, right at me. Duh. Okay. And he's hoping he's far enough away from your friend that you're not going to do much damage. He's going to get a target lock on you. He's going to see if he can, see if he can punch some damage through, finally. All right, so now we go into the combat phase. The X-Wing is at range one of you, so he gets an extra die. But that also means you're going to get an extra die on him if you survive. If I survive? <laughs> Odds are good you survive this. So the X-Wing will spend his target lock. Dang. So we got three, three hits. hits. Three hits so far. No, just three. Okay. So if you dodge one, you're still alive. Dodges one, so he takes two. So it's going to so be a shield. One of these. And now that you have no shields, you get dealt a damage card. Cool. Because it's a normal hit, it's face down. Okay. So if it were a critical hit, so it's born from the bottom of the deck, you would deal it face up, and you would do whatever this says. Gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. That's so, so the Z95 is on his last leg, but he still gets a revenge shot on that X-Wing before he goes. Come on. Come on. You've got a hero bandit. So two dice normally, plus yep. one for being at range one. And then I get to reroll with the uh, target lock. Indeed. All right. So we got two so far. Spends it. Just two. Just two. That's so fine. That's fine. The X-wing dodges two. Oh come ah, on, Matt. Why? God. The other guy's in range. He's, out of range. Well, not in range two, but he is in range three. So I will get three dice to your two. Gotcha. Come on. Come on. One. Reroll one. That off. Two. Hits. Two. Next wing. Dodges two, two. No! Why? Egad. So the X Wing is surrounded by bandits. Yep. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. We're all fine here now. I don't know what I'm doing. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> that's the best. That is the best. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. So I'm thinking that I have to get the Z95 away as far as possible, but then I want to recover, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do a straight white action, even though that might not be the best thing for me, just so I can hopefully avoid. My thinking, though, is that he's going to do a K turn to turn around and shoot me up the black, which is just great. And so in this case, I also have him with the uh, with that thing. He's still going to be range in range of his X-Wing, so I'll take a, red, a, a green bank to take off the stress when that happens. Yeah, because he probably won't survive. He'll do a K-turn, and he won't even... He won't make it. And I don't know if there's pre-measuring in this. I'll have to ask. I don't... I doubt that there is. I think you have to kind of eyeball it. But... He'd clear him, but still get shot. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who do you think... Who do you guys think will win? This is a good... Uh, this is interesting. So far, it's pretty close. Yeah. All right. Pretty close. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so he has a four straight. Seems good. So, so, 
The four straight is a white, so he will not clear stress, so he doesn't right. get an action this turn. Okay. And then this is going to do a two green black. Oh, here it is. There we go. Cool. All right, that's me. But oh, he still gets his action because he got to remove his oh, stress because right. he did it. So degree. he's going to take the uh, the target lock. target lock. Seems good. And target lock's a good call here because I'm probably not shooting at you. I'm probably going to have to. Uh -huh. go, I'm probably trying to go after the wounded guy if I'm going. Around. I knew it. So he's doing a 4K, turning around. He's going to turn me up the butt. He gets stressed. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be a long range shot for me. Yep. So, start of the combat phase. We are not within two, but we are within three. So, you're going to get three green dice to my three red dice. Oh. So, the X Wing gets a hit and a crit. No! See, see if the hero bandit can survive. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No. The only dies is one, takes a critical. So, so how many health does he have? He only has two hull. So he will be destroyed by that. Okay, so he's gone. Okay, that's fine. That's but, fine. but his friend gets to try and get some revenge on him. Come on. So we he's should... also long range. We are. Oh, we are just out of range. Just out of range. Yep. No. No. But target lock stays. Target lock does stay. So now we're going to next turn. So now you kind of know what I have to do if I want an action. I have to do a green maneuver. Uh -huh. I it's only gonna have... be one of the twos, right? Well, no. I have a uh, the one straight. The one banks and the two straight. Those are my only greens. Those are yours. Okay. So the X-wing doesn't have a huge number of greens. I think they added some in second edition. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the X-wing's only got three hit points left, so a good shot from the Z95 could do him in. All right. There's my action. All right. Gonna do a three slight right bank. Seems good. So. So drop you here, and since you already got a lock on me, you definitely want to focus as your action. I'm hoping it turned left. Actually, you turned right. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> We're going to probably Strangers in the Night this. Uh, it doesn't look like either of us are getting shots. So Does this... Nope. So yep. I'm going to throw a target lock on you. Don't either. Okay. So we are both locked on to each other. <laughs> strangers in, in the, the night. night. Two lonely starships. Right. Slowly passing by. I know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. So let's have fun. K turn. K turn. With a three. All right. All right. And yeah, he lost that focus last round. Gets a stress, but he does still have his target lock up. So this X Wing is going to do a two heart. Oh, interesting. Okay. And he's going to focus. Okay. Because he's already got the target lock on you. He wants to focus to try and keep you from killing him. Yep. Yep. Okay. We'll, we'll see if that's successful. We'll see. I only get two. I get so we take a shot. It's range two, so we don't get anything special. All right. So we're going to... Well, zero so far. Come on, come on. Spins it. Two explosions. One, One explosion. Can the X-Wing dodge? He will spend his focus. Yeah. No! To turn that to an evade. No! Narrowly dodges. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's yep. fine. So going into the next turn. Cool. I am going to do a red left bank to, not red, green left bank to recover. Take that stress off. So it takes stress off. And okay. hope that you do something that what keeps you in my front arc. Since you've removed your stress. Focus. Focus. Yes. All right. So the X-Wing. Because I still have target lock on you, right? Uh, no, you spent your target lock. Oh, can I even target lock then? You could target lock. Okay. So we'll switch that over to a target lock. The X-Wing. I knew it. Doing a K turn. So you're locked on me, I'm All locked stressed on you. Out. All stressed out. I'm stressed we're, out right we're, now. We're target, lock. we're target lock friends. Okay. So, I don't have so, a lot of so the X-Wing right. does get to shoot first. See if we're at range one. We're not. Nope. So it's just my three dice versus your two dice. <sighs> see, if can, see if we can punch some damage through. He's going to spend his lock on these two. Got two hits. Two? Not bad. One's a crit. Yep. A hit and a crit. Oh, C95 dodges. Hey! Hero Bandit. All right. Woo! And Hero Bandit gets to shoot me back. Come on. Ben's okay. target lock on this guy. Target lock to get that. Oh, oh two, oh, two, two. That could be a problem because it's a hit and a crit, and both of them go through. Yes. So the yes. Hit. Let's see what come on, crit. come on. The critical might end the game. Yes. It is a direct hit. He's dead. yes. He's dead. Uh, right in the cockpit. Bounty hunter, you're a winner. <laughs> I would custom paint you if you hadn't already been custom painted. I want it. Wow. This is very simple. This is great. Yeah, it's just the very it's okay. simple game. So after this, now that we've learned, basically, you choose your token and your movement. The lowest skill goes first, so these, yep. these boys. 
Um, and then you choose an action to do. Are there any other actions besides focus and target? Oh, there is a lot of other actions. Cool. Okay, so this is going to be good for us to know. So y'all watching can see the different kind of actions that occur. Okay. So let's also go through the differences in some of these actions from right. the addition change okay. for the actions that change. Uh -huh. So the reinforce action, what it used to do was every time I shot you, depending on what arc you reinforce, you would just add that and you would still roll his one agility. Okay. So if I shot you in the front and say I got, well, say I got one hit and nothing, the reinforce would just automatically stop it. Well, the new addition, the reinforce only stops it down to a minimum of one. So if, oh, you got okay. that, if you got that result, the reinforce wouldn't do anything, and I would still have my one agility, and I would take one. Interesting. So okay. that was the big change to reinforce. So it's not uh, an automatic negation. Yeah. Okay. They also changed reinforce to where previously it was you would reinforce front or back. If any part of their base was in your front arc, you got the reinforce against them. If they were all the way in your back arc, you wouldn't if you reinforce your front. Okay. They did it the opposite. Okay. So if any part of their base is in your back arc, you don't get the reinforce if you reinforce the front. Interesting. So it makes the front covers less area now. Right. Because, you know, I have this line, but if you're any part of your base is past this, I now don't get it. Cool. So okay. that was the big change to reinforce. Uh -huh. Let's see. What are some other good ones? Ah. So this is the boost action. Boost okay. is very straightforward. I believe it stayed exactly the same. You can either do, as your action, you can do a one straight, or you can do a one bank to the left or right. Cool. And that's all boost is. And your total distance is further with one bank than it is with one straight? Total distance is a little further. Um, okay. And then we have the evade action. So the evade gives you a special evade token. In this edition, when the enemy shoots you, evade adds a result. So okay. if I rolled, so say you got three hits on me, uh -huh. and I rolled two evades, I could then add another evade and dodge the attack completely. Wow. The new edition, they changed it to where this just changes a dice to a facing. Oh, okay. so if you get three hits and I only have two agility, I even with an evade token, I still can't dodge more than two. Gotcha. That makes so sense. that was the big change to the evade action. Okay. That's cool. So, a wings are neat. Ah, the barrel roll action. Barrel roll. So barrel roll. Ah. What, what barrel roll does right now is you basically say, I'm going to do a barrel roll. You can put the template anywhere along the side of your base, as long as it doesn't go past your base. So let's uh -huh. say we put it there. You pick up your ship, and then you put your ship anywhere alongside the barrel roll as long as your base isn't going past the temple. Okay. So you have this huge, like, basically an H where you could go, like, anywhere over here or over here. Wow. They changed this completely to where now you just go straight off to the side. Okay. Like, uh, you're supposed to go with the middle using the center line on the template, but you right. can also go from the back or the front. It does basically the same thing. Right. It's all square, right? Yeah. Neat. Wow, this is cool. So, that was so each ship has a certain set. Are there yeah. like a limit to unique actions? There's uh, only there's a certain number of them? Not a limit to actions. Like you, as you can see, he's the 95 S2. Most ships won't have more than four actions printed in their action bar. Okay. Uh, very few ships even have that many. Because cool. as you can see, like, you know, he's only got two, he's got three, she's got two. Yeah, gotcha. So, okay. Now, then the stat lines, there's a two the red, which is your damage you can do. Yeah, that is your. Then the your red dice you Your have. green is your movement. Or no, your green yellow is your, is your hull. Agility. Yeah. No, you dodge, dodge. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. your yellow is your hull. Your and then shield is the blue. Correct. Got it. Okay. And so you see something like. Uh, and so then your upgrade cards are denoted by these little marks at the bottom, which tells you what kind of upgrades you can yep. put on them. As you okay. can see, Z95 can only carry a missile. This guy can carry a torpedo or an asteroid. Neat. I mean, it's a TIE fighter, has no shields. Right. Because, you know, you got to be brave, ride a TIE fighter, have no shields. Yep. Uh, that has not changed over the editions. With no oxygen in the cockpit. Well, obviously. <laughs> who, needs who needs that? It's a crutch, right? Yep. You're only going to be out there for an hour anyway, yeah. so <laughs> if that. Uh, Sweet. Okay. Well, Matt, thank you. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can please put that in the comments there. We'll answer them. Otherwise, uh, that is pretty much the game. That, that's everything, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, if a card tells you to do something different, you do something different. But other than that, yeah. that's the game. That's very simple and quick. Wow. Super easy. I like that. Thanks, Matt. Yep. I no appreciate problem. it. All right, everybody. Uh, come play some Star Wars games today from May 4th. Uh, Legion, X-Wing, Armada, anything, really. Uh, we have Destiny tonight. So, lots of stuff going on. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to play X-Wing. And he's the hero bandit. Yes, he won. Love it. He's a winner.